Yes, sir. Yeah, baby. Yo, we back, we back, we back with part two of the Chronicles of Cracky Tooth. My boy, my homie, up church. Yo, we gonna go on and get in this thing. Y'all saw the first part, a little bit of it. We're going to start right where it stopped, okay? Let's go. Let's get into this thing like a chicken wing. Eat that baby chicken, man. In those six months, I was not singing. I was just, uh, nobody knows this, but if you ever heard a guitar on any of the his first album and up to Project X, that was me. That's how I made my living with church for until I ever sang a song with him, I played, I made beats with band play for a long last time. That's all wow. I did. Me and Johnny Cash. What? What? Oh. And band play made all the beats and wrote all the hooks. Nope, that's a lie. Ain't none of y'all write no hooks. <laughs> did I pay you as a guitar player in the studio? Uh, yeah, it's called a session player. I pay you the money. I already gave you a place to stay. Now you work for me. You got a roof over your head. I'm paying you to go to work to the studio. I'm paying you money to do this when okay. I could pay 500 other motherfuckers in Nashville to do it. But I'm letting you do it to make money to get on your feet. Not only to get on your feet, but you're already in a studio, Cracky Tooth. <laughs> Use the money I'm paying you to pay for your own music and make your own music at the studio you're already at. Wow. Girl. So like a year went by and, and finally I got to do Bulletproof because in that year, six months to a year, I hadn't wrote anything. I was just doing a uh, guitar uh, track. Yeah. To six months to a year, you didn't write shit for yourself. What do you mean to do? Sharpen the goddamn pencil and be like, hey, you're writing these lyrics. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Hey, I can't, I need not to laugh because, yo, I need to get on my books. I, I, I They up here and in here. I just need to get to typing. I started a paragraph. I need to keep typing. And uh, so we do the we do uh, bulletproof. We didn't do a video for that, but we do bulletproof, and that's everybody's introduction to me. You know, as right. me. Hey, this is who this kid is. You know, whatever. So after I saved him from a guy who wanted to probably touch his butthole, got him to stop yodeling in the rain when it's 50 degrees outside, put a roof over his head, give him a fucking job, take him on tour. Now I do a song with him and show him to people to boost his career. I'm such a fucking horrible person. You're going to hell. Well, then, you know, that's cool. I'm doing and then we do the old days of the music video and then my whole life changed, like, for fucking ever. My life changed when I met church because I don't know if anybody knows this church was famous six years ago. Right. And like the type of famous where it was scary. Like when I literally, I, I can never make this shit up. Like when I first, the first time church ever posted me on this shit, like I was just playing guitar and Instagram videos from him. Like while he sung. I can imagine the views. I can imagine the views. Oh, geez. Calm down, Johnny Gobble. He <laughs> over there stretching his nutsack out far as hell right now. <laughs> I can imagine the views. I can imagine the views. Oh shit, my testicle fell on the ground. Yeah, it does have a lot of views. It's been out for four years and has 39 million views, to be exact. It's a shit ton wow. of exposure for free, if you ask me. Record labels can't even buy you that. And look, he's done not shit with it. Well, it's not. Wow. It's, 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 that's what I was getting at. Like, bro, my phone literally froze for four days straight. I could not even open my phone, use my phone, because it was going. It, 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 it locked my phone. My phone shut down. Wow. Me. Wow. And that's when I knew shit was different. I had no idea, nothing, none of this. And then I, I knew then, I was like, man, what? I got overwhelmed. And it, everything happened so fucking fast for me on my end. Because that's... Hold on, hold on, hold on. 39 million? I, I feel you. I can feel the overwhelmness. But... Mm, you got to grab hold there, there, boy. Crack it to that's my that's that's how it happened for me right well what are you crying about you came here for a record deal to do the same exact thing the only difference is some dude pulled up in a dot and was like i can help you and did it better in six months right. everybody in the little this is how crazy for me i'm from mississippi bro I, I didn't expect to ever do nothing i just expected to struggle my whole life like i still am you know good god he's just like johnny gobble bro who the fuck wakes up and like yep today i choose to struggle some more mm. Came here for a record <laughs> deal, bro. What do you? 
I came there to change my life, but my life got changed, and I was like, man, I don't want my life to change. Well, I planned on just yodeling in the rain at the park for the rest of my life. Yodeling. Did you hear me out, bro? There's literally porn stars with my name on them. There's whoa, 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 whoa. It's what porn star? What did he say? I planned on just yodeling in the rain at the park for the rest of my life. Yodeling. To hear me out, bro. There's literally porn stars with my name on them. There's fucking uh, girls in New Zealand, guys in New Zealand that wear up me and his music and got our name tattooed on them in New Zealand. Like, this shit is not real to me. Like, this shit is still ain't hit me. Like, the fuck? Like, and, and, and. They ain't hit you. Bro, I fired you like five years ago, bro. You need to wake the fuck up. Uh, yeah. Now, I don't know about porn stars and guys from New Zealand having your name tattooed on them, but, you know, maybe people get R-H-E-C or Creaker or my signature tattooed on them to maybe they came to a show and they're listening to music that changed their life or the way they think about their self. And maybe that's their way of showing appreciation. I'm not going to treat them like they're weird or nothing. Like, what the fuck? Like, yeah, they are. They're real people. It is real life. Right. Maybe they share real values with me. Like, you don't have to understand it. You're fucking hanging out with Johnny Gobble. You probably don't understand <laughs> shit. Old days come out, bro. And my whole fucking life changed. I couldn't even go outside the fucking apartment without being without somebody being like, yo, 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 you know how I know? I was there, dummy. Oh, it was church, bro. <laughs> church was so fucking retarded famous that if he posted anybody, you, you that person could not walk outside the area and breathe. You couldn't, bro. I went to the mall with my baby mama. And I couldn't even, I, I went to get tattooed, my neck tattooed for old days video. This was before the old days, actually. I was getting my neck tattooed for the old, I, I got the microphone tattooed the day before the old days was shot. Because I had to, I had an ex's name on there. I had to cover it up with something because right. I knew it was going to get a lot of fucking views. You know? Right. <laughs> Right. Tell us you're a dirt bag without telling us you're a fucking dirt bag. <laughs> the chick he's talking about is my friend, which he impregnated and then dipped out on and went to New York with a guy named Chris and smoked crack for three months. Uh, yeah. So he's with his baby mama getting wow. a tattoo to cover up That's his crazy. other baby mama for the music video, which will attract him in the future more baby mama drama. If that don't tell you who the fuck this dude is, then I don't know what does. Right. And, um, that tells me everything yeah, so, I need know, to know. Days, and that's when I was like, oh my God, this is real life. Yo, that's sad. This dude is still promoting the old days, and the old days is actually now literally the old days. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then, like, during that time, also, Church bought me, like, three trucks, bro. Church bought me three vehicles. When I, in, the, in the time of me knowing him, bro, he bought me three vehicles. And he well, actually, I bought you one vehicle because you didn't have one, and I was like, fuck it, I'll buy you one. That was back when I was broke, by the way. The other two vehicles yeah. I bought you was because you were dating my friend, and y'all were going to have a baby, and you was not interested in having a safe car for the baby. Wow. So I this had to ridiculous. buy it because I care about my friend who you impregnated. Wow. <laughs> Here's how fucking stupid this guy is. One of the vehicles I buy for the baby so it could be safe, this dumb motherfucker trades it for a stunt bike that has no title. Wait, hold on. Hold 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 a hold a fucking hold a fucking hold a fucking <laughs> what the Cracky two. Cracky two. What are you gonna do if I can take your kid to goddamn Walmart on the stunt bike? Bro, he bought me three vehicles and he gave me one. And he, he bro, he don't care. He's ever since I've known church, he's always had at least at the, Wait, well, whoa, whoa, whoa. That don't that don't even go in the same sentence. He bought me three, gave me one, but this bro don't don't care. <laughs> huh? At one time, 15 vehicles. You know, he never has less than 15, 20 vehicles. And that's, that, that, that ain't a rich thing. He's just he's a car fanatic. I give him that. I'll give him that. He does like cars. He, he's always been in, I mean, him and Gerald love trying, bait, uh, trading, buying, and selling cars. That's their thing. They've always done that. I'm not going to take that from them. Well, somebody help me. I don't fucking, I don't speak dumbass. What does that mean? <laughs> I ain't going to take that away from him. He likes cars. I ain't going to take that away from him. You can't. I'm buying the cars. What are you talking about? He, he, he's, he's, he's back with us to an extent. To an extent?
Excuse me. <laughs> Actually, I have backwards <laughs> tattooed on my back. That's how backwards I am, bitch. But, Church, but Deardorff, this is the thing. I, I'm going to skip around a little bit. But when I first met Church, Deardorff is one of his first friends that come to me and talk, come to me and told me, took me to work with him. Because I, I was a kid, like I said, I'm just kid on the street. So he said, Deardorff picked me up, took me to work with him. I'm riding around him one day. And uh, Deardorff is the like the first person I ever talked to. <laughs> Look at Gobble up there. <laughs> Y'all see Gobble. Going to Gobble, Gobble. One day. Look. And uh, Deardorff is the, like, the first person I talked to before I met anybody else in his group of friends. Yeah. And he was like, yo, bro, I don't know. And it's like Deardorff was kind of mad at him, too, like, mad because his, his friend Churchy grew up with him put on the front. Like, uh, he, he literally flat out just told me, he's like, no, Church ain't crunchy country, bro. Like, literally everything he raps about is everything I've done. Like, Church ain't going to fight nobody. I literally chased Church around his own house three times. This is shit Deardorff told me. Nope, not true. You know it's not true, and Deardorff knows it's not true. Deardorff has never chased me around trying to fight me. Ask him. Deardorff is my homie. You're the one who's gotten chased around houses. And that was by me. And Deardorff, that's how me and him come friends. We almost fought in the parking lot. He, he, he told me I wasn't going to meet him. And I met him. I, I walked right up to him and I, I shook his fucking hands. No, that never happened. I don't even know where the fuck that story came from. <laughs> You mean to tell me he showed up to fight you and didn't fight you? Bruh, you weigh like 90 pounds. Boy, that's a lie if I ever heard one. If Deardorff shows up to fight you, he came to fight you, bruh. He's not just going to be like, oh, never mind. I just, I, 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 I thought I was trying to fuck Lauren, his old lady or some shit. Went down, I was talking something like that. And... What? Bruh, Lauren is not going to give you the time of day. I'm sorry. A bunch of rumors for the church. My baby mama got spread around. And just wow. Just tell me, that's all drama. Damn, now me and his baby mama? Why not? Jessica, are you watching this shit? I'm with him, man. I'm kidding. That's why I'm, I'm out. I don't deal with that. That is. Look at some drugs in his brain. He's like, fuck, man. I done said too much retarded shit. I'm have to look out the windows for the next month. I'm scared. Live. I could live lifestyle that he lives. Well, hey, there's something we agree on. I agree. You probably couldn't. You'd see an amount in the bank account and fucking OD in the next four days. No, wow. no, no, it's just, it's, it's not even the lifestyle, bro. It's just what he allows and enjoys to happen. He, he, he feeds on the bullshit. Yeah. Well, yeah, look what kind of videos it makes. The Cracky Tooth Chronicles. <laughs> like, yo, so you know, like, church, he ain't country. Like, everything he raps about is shit that I do in every day. Like, the fucking cars and the fucking uh, backwoods <laughs> shit. Here, man, all them fucking Can-Am videos and riding wheelies and Harleys and shit, I just hire a stunt double to do all of it. Jet skiing, stunt double. Hiking through the North Carolina mountains during berry season with a bunch of bears, stunt double. <laughs> you know, old school muscle cars I got, I don't drive them, stunt double. So I can just look backwards, you know what I mean? He's inch. Deardo was the first one to tell me that church was always oh, that skater yeah. punk, class clown in, in school. No. Okay, so he told you the truth? <laughs> I don't understand. I, I still mean, skateboard. Well, you can tell that world. with the Pokemon shit. Oh shit, calm down, buddy. The Pokemon shit! <laughs> I must not be dumb enough to understand why that's a diss. I don't know. You can tell that with the right. Pokemon shit. Right. And for nothing, when I was like seven, I fought with Pokemon cards. But after that, I think that was over. I mean, yeah, the craze is over. But, you know, all those cards from back then are worth lots of money now. Right. For instance, I have like $890,000 worth of those gay Pokemon cards. I mean, <laughs> yeah, when I was growing up, my... I'm not hating on shit because I have certain things from my childhood that I still fuck with. Yeah, just like Justin's childhood, he still doesn't have a job. But I'm not going to wow. fucking make it my everyday life. Like, you have no other thing in your life going on. You just, all day, you, every day, you just, you're in baby land. I don't know what the fuck's going right. on. Right. So interesting. There's two grown-ass men over the age of 30 who smoke crack rocks that are mad that I collect Pokemon cards. Wow. Ridiculous. <laughs> This is why I make these videos. Man, it's just, exactly. I just wish that I wish people knew more, but <sighs> make a It'll come out. It'll come out. What are y'all doing? Hosting the AA meeting for upchurch trauma? Fuck. I've been, bitter, I've been bitter for a long time. Not, not, not I know you have. Just I know what you. people don't know. And what people don't know. And I know. It, it bothers me for everybody to see it. Like, oh my God. And just worship this motherfucker. And, and, and I'm, I'm not even saying that he shouldn't have no fans. All I'm saying is, y'all need to know the fucking truth if you're going to support somebody. Right. Bringing you the truth since last week. Johnny Gobble and Cracky Tooth. <laughs> we'll continue to tell us the truth is dead. My whole life, the truth my freedom, is, everything. The truth is <laughs> This man on one, more than one occasion. What I mean by that is he had death threats from black people at shows back in the beginning. Nope, that's false. I've only had two death threats at shows, and they're both white guys. 
<laughs> once in West Virginia and once in South Carolina. So every show we played, bro, there was death threats. If at every show there was death threats, I don't think I'd be playing shows still. And I don't think places would want to book you either, right? Right. I mean, uh, they they be like, like, yeah, you know that guy that gets all the death threats everywhere? Let's fucking book him. Every every show there <laughs> we played, there was a death threat. So we all had guns. Well, Church had a gun, I had a gun, the drummer and DJ didn't. We no, no, I didn't have a gun. I ain't backwards, Bo. No, I was just fucking stunt double. Yeah, man, Church carries a gun, man. Hey, man, church won't even hold a gun, man. This dude's brain's fucked up. This is why I <laughs> start respecting him. Like, bro, I, I, had, I just had my son. You know this. You're the godfather right. of my son. That the and one you're not you taking care of. your gun <laughs> into a bar and risk my freedom, my life, possibly get shot or have to shoot somebody over you. And then I get on stage performing in the middle of the song. After, uh, after the song, you look at me and go in the middle of a crowd. Go ahead, Justin. So, uh, I, you know, remember when somebody said they was going to shoot us at this show on stage? I was like, yeah. You know, what you going to do? I was like, fuck it. It's just like he's telling everybody I got a gun on me. Like, bro. So nobody caught it. And I was just, so I made a sound. I, I, made, I broke it off like it was funny. I was like, I'm going to fucking shoot him. I was just being funny. And I laughed. And then I got off stage. I walked to the green room to pull the gun out and put it up. Well, fucking the drummer and the DJ were back there with some groupies. Right. And the groupies, as soon as I walked in, I'm not used to fucking groupies being in the green room, because they're not supposed to be. Yeah, ladies, no girls allowed. Right. I'm right after the show and get our shit out and write and, you know, whatever. Right. So me not just being used to the green room, I fucking barge in with the gun out and, put, and start wiping it off and I'm sweating like a motherfucker. Well, goddamn. <laughs> <laughs> Why would you bust up in a green room with a gun, you dummy? The gun's gonna rust. I mean, it's, I'm, that's the way I'm thinking. Right. So I put the gun out instantly, just screaming, terror. Everybody's freaking out. Like, oh my God, he's got a gun. Cops get called. Marshals get called. Shut the whole fucking show down. Raid the fucking place. Fucking the uh, fire marshal show up. Fucking everybody, man. The cops fucking barge right in. Uh, everybody's scattered and go straight to church. They go straight to church with the shirt up, ripping his fucking. Yo, this is an amazing story. I, it, it needs to be in the movies. <laughs> oh, shit. Clothes off searching for the gun, and I'm right behind church with the gun. So I fucking slip out the fucking back door. And we were in the, they were in the back patio, and they got the church. So I'm in the back patio. I slip out the back fence door thing, go around the back to the van, put the gun in the van, walk through the front door, back to church. Like nothing ever fucking happened, and they never fucking found the gun. What is wrong with you? You mean to tell me I brought my gun into a club of people, told you to put it in your pants. Then after the show, I was like, hey, everyone, he has a gun. But nobody heard me. But then everyone started freaking out. Then the fire marshals and the goddamn <laughs> Soviet Union shows up <laughs> and raids the place. But don't find a gun because it's on the guy beside me. While I'm getting strip searched. <laughs> and then you sneak out of the building and then back into the building. Well, the fuck is wrong with you? So essentially you're saying we had a show for a bunch of deaf people and then uh, <laughs> the cops showed up and, and blind, they're all blind. Don't blind. Yeah, they yeah, yeah. walk around touching the walls <laughs> looking for a gun. And then you freeze time and you sneak into the front and into the back or whatever. And then it magically just, we all got away with it. You need fucking help. Bro. Look, look, look. That would have ruined your career. Gobble. Everyone's career, bro. We that been was fuck, dude. Wow. Hey, Johnny Gobble, did you know that unicorns was real? Oh, yes. Google them on YouTube. I heard they like to stay in Paintsville, Kentucky. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. You you had to get the fuck away, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, you had to get the fuck away. Yeah, good thing he fucking got away. <laughs> Close call. Yeah, who the fuck right. wants to live like me? Hey, I just seen this car on the side of the road. We go pick it up. I don't care how much it costs. Horrible. Just flat out horrible. Listen, as a grown man, like, do I need? To, am I wanted here? Am I even respected here? You ain't respect. You wasn't respected. You wasn't respected, bro. Well, they got one thing right in the video. No, you're not respected. You've impregnated <laughs> like four women and take care of zero of the children. Oh wow! You get zero That's respect ridiculous. over here. You wasn't respected. It's things just like that, though. Like, yeah, bro, literally, yeah. that, 
I told you the best friend Putin, <laughs> best friend Putin was getting jumped in the park in Chim County twice by two younger boys, little fuckers. Like, I, I know I look like a little dude, but I'm, these guys are little, little. Like, motherfucker, don't mistake me. I'm old school. I'm, I'm 30 years old. I'm not a little kid from the millennial age. I'm old school. I'll fucking manhandle you and maul you, motherfucker. I call bullshit. I don't think you will. Crawl up you and maul you. <laughs> you gonna bite somebody's neck the fuck? All right, well, prove it. Do it to me. Come on, get me. All right. <laughs> Right. The thing is, like, we went to these fucking two right. little places where these uh <laughs> these little buddy Putin was getting jumped, and, and church is all hyping me and his cousin up. Billy's like, bro, we gotta go, we gotta go get these motherfuckers. Blah 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 blah. Putin's in trouble. I'm like, all right, well, let's go. And Billy's like, let's go. So we get the truck, and both fucking times, bro, both fucking times we get to these fucking it, it's, it's, it's pussy shit too. Like they, they ain't even fight when we get there. That's the, that's the bad thing. We're sticking up this for a pussy like that ain't even doing anything. Like this ain't a fight. This is fucking high school shit. They're just arguing in the parking lot. Well, yeah, when your friends call you and say, hey man, I think I'm gonna get jumped, you show up and you just stand there and make right. sure they don't get jumped. <laughs> this is if it. them two are arguing or about to fight. What do you? What Man. do you want us to do? We're not going to jump the guy. I'm, 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 I'm just jumping is some sissy baffled. shit. We're just going to sit there and let them argue. Baffled. If they fight, they fight. If they don't, they don't. <laughs> well, I'm from, if you say we're going to go do something, we're going to go. We're going to go do it. We're going to go do it. Bro, didn't this dude just say one minute ago like he was like, "Man, I risked my life and I, I'm scared." And and I held this gun and froze time and escaped the police. Now you're like, well, "Man, if you show up, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying?" <laughs> Yeah, that's why guys like you fucking end up in jail for the rest of your goddamn life. Because you're stupid as fuck. Right. You can't just jump out of a car and just start jumping people. Yeah, man, you know what I'm saying? They don't call me cracky tooth for nothing, boys. You know what I'm saying? I ain't got to know nobody, know what's going on. No situation. I just jump out and start swinging and go to jail for not shit. <laughs> just because I want to be stupid. You know what I mean? That's how you know I'm a real country boy. I just I love being stupid. Yeah. And me and your cousin jump out the truck both times and you sit in the truck and film everybody? Like, you just can't wait to see somebody knock the fuck out? Like, that, 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 that right there is the difference between church and even his family and everybody around him that don't fuck with him now. Bro, like, you film the shit that we do. You talk about the shit that you we do. us to do. Yeah, man, I became a millionaire from writing about being a cracky tooth that don't take care of none of his kids. It's how I came <laughs> respected by hundreds of thousands of people. Not to mention, I didn't know you for very long, bro. You think I've just been just been doing songs like this because I hung out with you for six months and tried to help you better your life? Uh, no, I write about me and my friends and what me and my friends do. And you're not a part of that group. Like you send me to do the shit you think you do in your head. Like, bro, fuck you. I'm not your fucking minion. I live my life. I'll fight for me now. Fuck you. And what is it exactly you're doing for yourself? The shit that he would want to play out in his life, he's wanting other people to do he, he and film so it. This whole, this whole time, bro, he wanted to be. He, he wants to have this outlaw image as if he's ever done anything outlaw. Motherfucker, this never. This dude never sold anything. He never had to sell nothing. Do you have to be a drug dealer now to be an outlaw? <laughs> Damn, that sucks. His dad owned a paint company. What What are you doing besides solidifying that what I say is true, bro? Yeah, man, fuck up, church. I'm going to get on YouTube and pretty much make a video that explains how his whole life, the entire time, has been true. That'll show him. Bobby didn't make him rich. <laughs> Bobby didn't do that. Oh, he church, didn't? He got rich because it's fallen. Bobby oh. gave him... Bob, church owns half of Redneck Nation, by the way. I support and am sponsored by Redneck Nation, but I don't own half of it. I mean, you can look that. That's that's public. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, I'm tired. Does this dude even know how to fucking mail a letter to somebody? Yeah. It, <laughs> Bobby's company wasn't even named Redneck Nation. Whenever Bobby met Church, then he changed his name to Redneck Nation and it solely made it about Church because Church was that fucking popular. Well, what was it called before that? Because I've only known it as Redneck Nation. Brianna, though, Church was homeless before he ever got started, too. Just like me. Okay, that's not going to work. You, you already told everyone about the apartment that you came to. Earlier right. in the video? Exactly. Oh, my God. And Brianna, his girlfriend, and her family took church in and got him on his feet. Oh, my God, Cracky Tooth. You already told people earlier in the video that she lived with me. Brianna moved in with me, fucking. Fucking. She's not the type of woman who's going to be like, oh, look at this homeless guy. You want to live with me and my family? <laughs> yeah, no, <laughs> she's not like that. And got him a phone and got him a truck to go to work in. Holy fuck. This sounds like a game show. <laughs> this sounds like, hello, uh, man, homeless man, want to move in with me and my family? Here's you a brand new phone and a brand new car. I must be like redneck Jesus to this motherfucker or some shit. Just fucking, I just think about wanting something that's popped up. And all that. And <laughs> he said to Bobby done that. 
He said that Bobby no. done that. No. No, yes, it was Bobby. Why are you saying it's not? You know it was. Bobby from Redneck Nation taught me about the internet. Yes, dumb fuck. It's literally on the internet. Uh, that's what he does, man. Like that's what, that's what I'm saying. Like when, the whole time with him, I, I, I was there to do music, but he seemed to think that I was there because he bought me a fucking A2 Ford Bronco with a mm -hmm. fucking tennis lift on it and 44 inch Mickey Thompson. I mean, it wasn't nothing special, mm -hmm. but I drove it motherfucker to the wheel fell out. Right. And he got me a fucking. Um, what do you mean? He what gave you me mean a high school. Wait a minute. What do you mean? He done bought you cars and nothing special. What do you mean? It got you where you wanted to go. Huh? Got you got to get back to where you wanted to be. <laughs> nothing special. When he signed hard body, went one from high school, he had signed the huh? jersey. Yeah. I sold it. Jesus I sold Christ. that bitch. I'm giving a fuck. Sold twenty hundred dollars. Fuck his truck. <laughs> <sighs> what can I say, guys? You can't you help just people, can't man. help some people. Come on, let now. this be a lesson. We on the same Don't page, do what I, done. I had to learn the hard way. Some of us over the years we catch on, and you know our stupid, dumb, fuck, idiot years are over by the time we're about mm, 24, 25, At least for me. Then others like Johnny Gobble and Cracky Tooth. Man, I'm about to tear up this screen. <laughs> man, me and my boy, oh, I was. Simon, Simon Telly still, I can't even talk. Almost at the same time. <laughs> you can't help people no more. You can't. They ungrateful, man. Get shit thrown in their lap and really great opportunities. And somehow they just fuck them up. And then sometimes they get a second chance and then they fuck that up. And then a third and a fourth and they just keep on fucking shit up. Six, then they end up eight. getting on the internet when they're high and blaming everyone else for their problems. I mean, dude, look at Johnny Gobble. He's got two kids, man. They're 14. They're in high school. They're in ninth grade. Man. And everybody at school is probably watching their dad get on here and look at him, bro. Like, look at him. Man. And let me tell you something. Kids in Paintsville, what up, Skins? By the way, I love Kentucky. If you do go to school with his two daughters, be nice to him, man. It ain't their fault. Then you have yeah. Cracky Tooth. Look at Cracky Tooth, man. There's nothing going on. <laughs> He's had everything dropped in his lap. I've orchestrated a viral fucking song for him that has 40 million fucking views. He's done not shit with it. Every woman wow. he's had sex with and got pregnant, he's left them high and dry wow. to fend for theirself. That's fucked up. Exactly. Mm -mm. If you get a woman pregnant, I don't give a fuck what the circumstances are. I don't give a fuck if it was a one-night stand, if you was cheating, whatever the fuck the case may be. Right. If you get that woman pregnant, your ass better take care of that baby, bro. You know why? Exactly. Because that's not the real man thing to do, fucking. Right. We're well, just going to leave this baby to have nobody to protect it, look up to it in this fucked up world we're in? No. Now, if you don't get along with this woman and y'all are arguing, but you're still like, hey, I'll still pay for... Whatever, since you won't let me see my kid or whatever, then some other guy comes in the picture and she's like, well, I don't want him to raise the kids and you sign your rights over. That's fucking different. But when you're just like dipping the fuck out, like, I don't know nothing. <laughs> that alone shows how fucking pathetic and stupid and useless yeah. both of you fucking idiots are. That's why it doesn't bother me. Look at you. You both talk like robots. You both ain't doing shit. And by the way, Baby Cakes, I know you're watching this. You're the one who dates Cracky Tooth. And you've been following me for a minute. And you know I wouldn't stray you wrong. If you were smart, you would kick that goofy fucking low life out of your motherfucking place. Because that's right. your place. Exactly. And you would find somebody better. Because you deserve better. You do. He has nothing going for him. He don't want nothing going for him. That's, that's right. not a good life for you, girl. And that's just real talk from Bubba Up Church. Yeah. Peace. Peace out, man. Hey, hey, y'all. I'm just hurt, man. This is this has hurt me to the to the freaking core. This this has hurt me, man. I you. I'm just so my. For after all this information, 30 minutes of all this information, I'm totally pissed because you try to help somebody. And then years later, 
they come down back around to you, didn't do anything with the help you gave, gave them, and then they trying to bring you down. It's bullcrap. I'm not, I, yo, I got to get out of here. Yo, you know my boy Up Church channel link is going to be in the description box below. Make sure you hit that link and head over there and subscribe if you haven't. Mock up out of this joint for real. Peace.